has given Governor Godwin Obaseke one week to issue a fresh proclamation for the inauguration of the Edo State House of Assembly or risk having the activities of the state legislators taken over by the National Assembly. The Senate also ruled that all 24 members elect be formally informed of the inauguration. Presenting the report of the other committee investigating the crisis in the Edo State House of Assembly, Chairman of the other committee, Senator Abdullah Isabi, recommended, among other things, that Governor Godwin Obaseki issue another proclamation within one week for the inauguration of the Edo State House of Assembly with the condition of risking having the Assembly's activities taken over by the Senate. The ad hoc committee made the following observations and findings. One, there was a general consensus and agreement among the all progressive Congress members in Edo State on the zoning arrangement proposed by the state chapter on the leadership of the State House of Assembly for Speaker and Deputy Speaker, respectively. Two, there was disagreement or lack of consensus among stakeholders on the micro zoning proposed by the State Working Committee of the APC for the position of the Speaker and Deputy Speaker of the Edo State House of Assembly, respectively. Three, proclamation letter was issued by the, Edo state, by the Governor of Edo State to the clerk of the Edo State House of Assembly on Friday, 14th June 2019, for the inauguration of the 7th Edo State House of Assembly on Monday, 17th June 2019, for its first sitting. In his contribution, former Governor of Imo State, Rocha Sokorocha, cautioned the Senate on the implication of what it intends to do in Edo State, although former governor of Ebon State, Sam Egu, supported the position of the Senate, noting that Governor Obaseki acted arbitrarily. There's no proof whatsoever that a do state House Assembly is not functioning. We have had cases here, or even the Federal House, where messages were taken away, and no other National Assembly came from anywhere to take over our activities. I think this matter should not go within the Senate. We should try and, both of us who are the cacos of APC, should try and help out and see how to resolve a family matter rather than make it a National Assembly issue. If there is co conflict among your members or even within the party, a governor should come and make peace and reconcile and hear both parties. So for me, I think the governor did the wrong thing. Even for inauguration at the night by 9 p.m. In the event that a new proclamation is not issued as recommended above, within a period of one week, the National Assembly shall invoke Section 11, Subsection 4 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended. Senator from Benue Northwest, Oka Jeff's point of order on the matter was rejected by the Senate President, Ahmad Lawan, and in his ruling, he insisted that the recommendations of the other committee must be followed by the state governor. The state governor should issue a fresh proclamation letter for the proper inauguration of the seventh Edo State House of Assembly. Those in favor of this recommendation say aye. aye. Those against say nay. Aye. The, aye, the ayes have it. As far as this issue is concerned, this has been laid to rest. The Senate has taken a decision. And let me say that um, this decision is in conformity with the decision the House of Representatives took two weeks ago. I believe that this, this resolution should be sent immediately uh, so that one week uh, is not in any way reduced uh, by keeping the letters here. You will recall that the House of Representatives had two weeks ago equally resolved to take over the Ido State House of Assembly after a debate on the same matter. The 